Today we're going to talk about how to set a heat demand timer for our heat pump on our Astral Pool Viron Connect 10. On a previous video we've explained how to set up our controlled heater power channel. Now what we're going to do is set that on a timer in conjunction with our filtration pump so that it starts up and samples at the top of every hour. What we're going to do is set up and configure our heat demand. So what we're going to do is go to our factory installation setup, passcode 1234 as normal, summary page change, and we're going to use the setup wizard to go through and complete our heat demand settings. Lighting zones, no. Channels in the system, eight. Connect temperature sensing, yes. Touchscreen to regulate temperature, yes. Heating, solar controller no, pool and spa automatic return to auto, so on our channel 1 still remains the same, filter pump, variable speed in an AI configuration, channel 2 is our cleaning pump for our in-floor system, channel 3 is our controlled heater power, now for heat demand uh, you can either have a water pump to activate a heat pump that is in constant power, or you can have a 10 amp 240 volt or 15 amp 240 volt as per our channel allowance for a heat pump connection. So that means a heat pump or a water pump will plug into a power point and this will be turned on via our controlled heater power. So no other channels are being used in this configuration. Now for our heat pump minimum heat on speed, that doesn't apply to us here. Our valves are okay. We'll just skip through that. Now, this section here, we would like our heat demand. Is it required? We have ticked yes. So, through to the end of our programming, back to our main setup wizard configuration screen. Now, exit and check our filtration timers. Next to them, what products we want on there filtration pump. Now what we want is our heater to be running in this timer cycle as well. So we'll leave that selected. Because we have enabled the heat demand function, we will now get a heat demand separate timer for itself. Now we want to be heating through the entire daylight hours. So we're going to start at 5 a.m. in the morning and we're also going to continue through to 9 o'clock at night. So we've set our timers, we've enabled it, we have chosen our days, we've selected every day, and done. Now what we're going to do is simply press home, all off, all auto, as per normal. Now if we see here, our timer is 527, so we should be in a timer cycle what we need to do is press our heater on. Now what will happen is even though we are currently 25 degrees and our set point is only 24, it will start and cycle the filtration pump as well as the heater pump if it needs to um, for two minutes and then it will again cycle at the top of every hour. So as you can see the heater is not actually on at the moment if we press our temperature and raise our temperature, it will now turn the heater on. But at the moment, it is just running our filtration pump, which it will cycle for two minutes, and then at the top of every hour afterwards. So this means we are going to be having heat demand for the hours of 5 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night and we are done.